Oh, hello everyone. Um, I want to thank everybody first off for the support I got on my last video. I kind of didn't expect it to have so many views. Um, and I kind of just did something recently here, as you can see behind me, something I've wanted to do for a while, which is kind of just kind of go crazy on Blade HQ uh, and kind of get some things that have been on my wish list for a while and some things kind of came in and out of stock that I liked. Um, pardon the setup, it's really late at night. This just got delivered here. It's like 8.30, 8.40 in the evening. So the sun is just about to set. So I'm gonna try to get this done today, uh, right now. Uh, so I got this, so it was big enough shipment and whatever, some things came from two different places uh, from Blade HQ. Um, total for this was, was quite a bit, but I don't think that has necessarily what's, as much to do with it as what was ordered. So this came yesterday and I couldn't wait to open it. Uh, so I, I, I had to, and I started using the wallet uh, already, as you can see, this is the open seal uh, black and red wallet. Uh, and I've been using this just today because like I said, I got it yesterday. Um, so I just thought, you know, even though this is already open and this one was already kind of open, um, I kind of got, and I'll show you my, the packing list so that you know that it's like already, you know, I didn't just start throwing boxes in here of stuff that I've uh, collected because this is a, it was a, it was a pretty cool thing to be able to do. And I'm so, you know, grateful of course, but, um, anyway, so this is what came in yesterday's and then this guy was the other thing. Um, like I was talking about, so when I first got into knives, a lot of people were talking about, you know, quality over quantity. And, and I do think that's a very good thing to follow when you're getting into knives, you know, sometimes a bunch of really cheap knives isn't as good as like one or two really good knives. But I recently started going back and um, kind of trying out some knives that I, I was told, you know, maybe wasn't that good of like a price range or whatever it may be. I, I drew to other knives quickly uh, early on and I never, um, really tried some of the ones that I that I wanted to early on that were kind of at a lower price bracket than what I was purchasing. So I'm going back and trying out some ones that I always heard were really good, were really good. Uh, and this kind of sparked it by getting like, I got like a pair of three uh, and a pair of two and some other ones like that, that uh, I really loved. And I was like, man, this thing is a great knife. Why do I, you know, of course I understand why CRKs and Medfords and Norsemans, and I've had a Norseman in the collection um, for a while, and, and I regret selling it, but that's a story for another time. Um, but anyway, so this is this is what came in yesterday. So this is this is just some stuff that I've wanted in the collection for a while, um, and I finally decided that you know I'd, I'd I'd rather as opposed to getting one or two really good knives, I'm gonna go back and kind of at least try out the ones that I uh, that I have been wanting to for a while. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and get into it. Like I said, this one. Uh, the open seal uh, wallet here, and then this uh, false uh, small feldspar came in yesterday, and I've been flipping this thing nonstop since I got it. This is the kind of micarta with the brass backspacers and pivot collar, uh, just a D2 blade. But I mean, this thing is on bearings, and oh my gosh, it is it's pretty pretty incredible. Deep carry pocket clip, uh, and I got some stuff in here to hopefully uh, gonna give it like a lanyard and 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 maybe even a bead. Um, and, but like I was talking about, I mean, this is just kind of affirming my, uh, you know, kind of suspicions on, there are some really, really good knives out there uh, that are much cheaper than what is posted on Instagram, because it's not all about flexing, it's about stuff that you enjoy. And this thing was like 45 bucks. And this is an on bearings um, folding knife that I really enjoy so far. Yes, it's made in China, um, but I mean, that is just a super incredible action drop shutty out of the box, uh, obviously being on bearings, but that's just fantastic. So I used this guy to open this guy and I was like, man, I should probably film this because, you know, why not? Maybe we'll, maybe we'll try to make a couple videos here. Anyway, so it's kind of some odds and ends. Um, as you can see, I, I grabbed this out of the top and then I saw all this stuff. So I immediately went and grabbed a bag. Um, I got a Blade HQ hat because I lost, as you can see, we're in a new, I'm in a new home. Um, we moved into our place and uh, I lost my hat in the move, unfortunately, from EDC Specialties. So I went ahead and, and I grabbed another one from Blade HQ. Pardon me, sorry, headphone users. Um, so that was the first thing that I got in today's package. Uh, so the Blade HQ hat, the trucker hat, adjustable, this little thing. Um, I'm gonna start grabbing these guys out of here so I can look towards the other stuff because I am super, super excited for what's all in here. Um, and I have some good ideas. I kind of just wanted to, you know, thank everybody um, for the support that I got on the last one and, and all the comments and stuff. I, I'm gonna go through hopefully and reply to some of them. Um, it's not my main YouTube channel. You know, I use a personal one where I, I don't post anything. You know, it's just what I use, uh, you know, for, for 
content watching, you know, and I wanted to create a separate one uh, for that thing that I posted. And I never expected it to get, last time I checked, it was at like 900 views, uh, 900 views. So, you know, I thought, you know, might as well, you know, and I have some, I've been making some ideas up um, on some stuff that I think I'd like to talk about. Um, and so we'll kind of just see where, where things go, but um, I'm going to try to get most of these out while I'm going. But I thought I would, you know, doing some preliminary videos, you know, so good unboxing like the YouTube algorithm will hopefully enjoy and, um, and the state of the collection. Uh, things have changed, obviously, since my last collection update, and I, and I want to touch on a couple of those uh, in another video, but this is just kind of what, this is just, obviously, you'll be seeing these, because uh, these are going to be, you know, new. Okay, so first thing here is this little miniature box, or uh, look at that little packing seal, golden, uh, and razor sharp, by the way, out of the box, razor sharp. So we'll see what's in here. Okay, so these are like little... Uh, Looks like, yeah, these are all just the small items that I got. Um, so, I'm not sure if I'm going to take all of these out. Oh, yeah, so this is part of the, I got this during the Father's Day uh, sale. So, some of these things like this uh, is a Civivi lanyard um, without a bead. Oh, no, there's a bead in there. Uh, or, I'm sorry, this is the Wii Knife lanyard. This is the Civivi. Uh, or I think they're obviously interchangeable. Um, but I got, so there's a little bit of a sneak peek as of what's in here. Um... This is a Damascus bead um, planned for a specific knife in this box. Uh, this is a Tech Accessories brass bead. Uh, maybe going to go on this one, maybe going to go on a couple other ones, I'm not sure yet. Um, this is another Tech Accessories, just a standard kind of titanium bead. Um, this guy, I'm actually kind of excited about. I've seen these pop up here and there, and I'm so thankful that they're still selling them. Um, this is a Spyderco, uh, a little like nickel coin, uh, never back up. Never back down, never give up, never back down, never back up. Or I did say that right, my, my bad. Yeah, Golden Colorado, USA, support our military and law enforcement, always. Um, so that's kind of a cool little coin that I, I think hopefully might get a patina. I'm not sure how well uh, nickel patinas, but I guess we'll, we'll see. Um, cool little spider tail logo there with the little, um, you know, coin. So there's that, so couple beads so far, a couple little lanyards that they threw in if you were purchasing a knife, and then here are some scales. So I'll, I'll touch on those when we when we find the thing that has the scales. Um, also part of their uh, Father's Day sale was, I think if you made a purchase over 119, you got a shirt. Let's see if they gave me the right size. They did. I put a large in there. So this is kind of just a cool little Blade HQ logo shirt. Um, looks like, looks like a launch. Um, the law enforcement little, uh, uh, what's it called? K-Bar, uh, knife there. CRK, paramilitary, Voker, Osborne, Microtech. And that guy is actually in this box. So let's, let's, let's maybe try to find that guy. Uh, buck knife there it looks like. Very cool. Very cool. The little Blade HQ logo, some knives made out of it. That's super cool. Um, I'm not sure where to put this without it getting in the way of the camera. All right, let's do this guy. So this guy, I'm also super excited about. So all this time, um, because uh, as you can see with that collection video, I, I have quite a few knives. So basically I rotated so much that I never really needed to sharpen them. And when I did, I took them into the shop, my local, uh, my local knife shop, and they, they sharpened it for me and it wasn't really a big deal, but I, after hearing more people talk about it and kind of wanting to take more of a handle on this kind of stuff and get into more of the hobby, the next thing was sharpening. So I got a, uh, a strop here. And then the other thing in here uh, is, of course, the, uh, uh, we'll, we'll get to that. There's the strop for the for one piece of the sharpening uh, solution that I, that I purchased. Um, and like I said, a couple little small little things because, you know, why not? Um, this guy's a little Valio uh, butterfly knife. <laughs> Uh, pen, so maybe I'm not sure if this is going to be work approved or not, but uh, you know, um, maybe while I'm doing something else that maybe I can't be flipping around my actual uh, my actual knife. This is kind of just a cool little thing. I'll mess around with this a little later on. Um, yeah, kind of cool, cool little dude. Um, I was like eight bucks, so who cares? You know, one of those things. Next thing down here. Uh, I kind of am interested in this kind of stuff, the kind of, uh, you know, 
uh, I was a Boy Scout growing up, and um, like a lot of us are that are in the knives. Um, I was a ranch hand for many years. That's where my name comes from, by the way. We grew up on a ranch, uh, many, many chickens somewhere. At our peak, I think we had like 800 chickens and moved on to a ranch with like 80 acres growing up and worked there for the for a while and, and family business and things like that. So I, so some of this stuff, you know, I knew kind of, you know, how to tie some knots and do some fishing and set traps and things like that just from growing up in, in that kind of, um, you know, area where we just had land and, you know, you could just go out exploring for a couple of days on the property and, you know, all right, you know, be back Sunday evening before school, you know, or whatever. And, and, you know, so, uh, yeah, so it's map, ma map making, starting fires, um, uh, finding food, and water. I'm kind of hoping what I'm hoping with this, um, and I might have to get a more specific book. I don't know if this is going to cover it. I just thought it might might, uh, might be nice to, to have in my and uh, have here. But I'd really love to get a book on uh, like um, mushrooms. Not really mushrooms, but because those things are dangerous as hell. I mean, whew. Um, more so like plants and berries. Uh, and tree bark and things like that roots uh, for the Sierra Nevadas and like what's you know how to identify and how to you know make sure that you're eating the right kinds and, and how to eat them uh, I think that would be super super cool because um, I did some stretches in desolation uh, growing up uh, desolation wilderness but I never you know we always just packed in what we had and, and never really ate anything on the trail but I always knew that I of course nature is super uh, plentiful and that kind of thing so maybe this will touch on that a little bit I don't know we'll see okay we're not close to being done, I think. Yeah, we only have a couple things out, and then this one I think was 24 items total. Um, next thing, the Wee Knife. Let's see which one this one is. Am I, I am, there it is. All right, we got it. Kind of a heavy box. Comes in a nice little, thing here yeah see that little sticker perfect perfect always gotta love stickers sweet oh man this thing's small pretty oily up here at the top not a big deal at all maybe just some pivot lube or something i like that pivot that's like looks almost like it's stamped into the scale but that's obviously the pivot this is the whoa this is the wee knife banter um by Ben, who's a, who used to be an employee over there. This is nice. Let's kind of see. Woohoo, that is snappy. Um, kind of reminds me of this action a little bit. It kind of has that similar sort of, oh my God, that is snappy. You hear that? That's like echoes in the house, even more so than this one. Different sounding, but man, that's a cool little, that's a good size. First picked it up, I was like, man, that's a little small. And then uh, now it's 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 that's pretty good size for 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 what it is. And again, so this is what I'm talking about. You know, I, I've never tried a banter. I never had one in the collection. I never. That's a really nice stone wash. It's like uh, it's incredibly smooth, even though it has that kind of you know that stone wash look. Anyway, um, I'll go through and <laughs> do more here and there on stuff. Let's see what else is in here. Yeah, other cool little odds and ends that I picked up. I got some fire cord here. Um, so this is paracord, but it also has like some stuff in here, some waterproof um, cordage that you can pull out of the middle and help start fires with. Uh, I just like the the color, um, and I thought it, you know, whatever. It's 25 feet. I'm never gonna go through a whole 25 feet. I mean, maybe someday over many a long, long time, but not anytime soon. That's for sure. <laughs> and then here's a whatever 50 foot 100 foot spool of od green so the od green and uh, kind of a coyote tan um hopefully to kind of fit some of the the, the vibes of, of the knife uh sort of color scheme that i enjoy obviously micarta satin blade od green brass you know that kind of thing i'm a really big fan of, of things that patina like that um so some paracord let's keep looking at what else do we got There's another Savivi here. This one, I know, I know this is gonna get some, I know most of you uh, have already seen, probably already had one of these in the collection. But like I said, I never have had one of these. I've never even held one. So, you know, I had to, you know, I had to, I, I had to try it out. A little bit smaller, still from Savivi. What's the most like popular knife that everybody talks about having? 
And that would be the elementum. Again, a really nice size. I love the black accents on this dark uh, kind of green micarta here. That's nice. So, so what I was expecting after I pulled this out, I'm like, all right, 40 bucks on a knife. That's gonna be terrible, right? There's no way, sorry for the dog in the background. My puppy is, is hanging out. Um, after I was playing with this for the whole day, I'm like, okay, so this guy is 45 bucks. This guy is like 50 bucks or something. That means that if this is good, this should also be good. And I've, I haven't heard much about the fall, uh, small felt spark, but of course everybody and their mothers knows about the CVV Elementum. So I was like, okay, so if that guy is really good and I haven't heard anything about that or more than a couple pictures, this one has to be fantastic. Um, that is pretty darn, pretty darn snappy. Like I said, this is the first time that I've ever held an Elementum. This is the first time I've ever um, seen one in person. Um, that is nice. It's very snappy. A little bit more uh, satin finish. You kind of see here, this is differences in finishes here. Um, I'm usually not a big fan of satin blades, but as per me, you know, going through and, and shaking up the collection a little bit, I've wanted to try some other things. So um, that's why I've gotten this. And also the, the, the green micarta and black blade wasn't in stock. And I wasn't really going to wait. You know, this was... I'm trying out some new stuff, and you know, if I don't like it, no harm, no foul, you know? But already, those things are, are some pretty awesome stuff. Um, CRKT box, also my first uh, Cricut knife. I've never had one of these before. Um, again, like I said, I just kind of skipped over all this stuff that people have usually tried, um, and I just went straight past it into, into, into some pretty crazy stuff. Um, yeah, I'm excited. And some of these, yes, some of these are, you know, kind of wanting to try out some sharpening before I go up to like fixing the pretty decent little uh, rollover I got in my in my large 31. But a lot of this too is just stuff that I've wanted to try. You know, a lot of the time, some days you're just like, man, I don't really feel like carrying an $800 knife or a $500 knife or $300 even, you know what I mean? Sometimes it's just like, man, I just wanna throw one of these in the pocket and, and you know, not really worry about it. Like if I'm going out, you know, fishing or if I'm going out, you know, camping and I'm not like, man, do I really like, can I bear to lose this if I, you know, and stuff happens. Anyway, back to the knife. That blade is so much smaller than I thought it was going to be. That almost looks disproportionate. Huh. Very interesting. This is the uh, Blade HQ Minimalist uh, Cleaver. Little like neck knife. I'm not going to have it as a neck knife and if I ever do wear it, it's going to be on uh, the, the, the belt sheath here. But... Um, another knife that I've just kind of wanted to, I like the look of it. Uh, people talked highly about it. The ergonomics I can already tell are really, really good. I'm definitely gonna get rid of that thing, I think. Um, but that's a really, for such aggressive, you know, ergonomic kind of like uh, scale shaping here, I'm surprised that it fits so well. Like you'd expect like, okay, maybe like one size fits most. And I don't have like very large hands, you know, or whatever. I mean, there's, I don't even know if you can see that, but next to an elementum. Like, not super large hands, you know, I guess average hands, but it's, it seems pretty, like, almost daring to, like, make that so, I mean, either this fits you or it doesn't, you know what I mean? Um, but this is a, that's a nice, that's a nice little itty-bitty blade size. I like that. I like that a lot. So, there's another guy that I picked up. Let's keep going before this video gets super-duper long. How about we we'll take this guy out? Jeez, please. We'll take this guy out before... We do any more knives, we'll take a break. That's the sharpening system I'm gonna start out with. I don't know, you know, what people really move on to besides like Wicked Edge or, or things like that, but I have zero sharpening experience. So that's where this guy and then the uh, little leather strop comes in. This is the Spyderco Sharpmaker, uh, triangular Sharpmaker sharpener, as you can see, obviously. So um, we're gonna try it out. You know, I, I haven't sharpened literally any knife before in my life. So I thought that this is a pretty decent way to start. I've heard good and bad things about a lot of different um, methods of sharpening, and um, this one I didn't see very many negative things about, so I thought I might as well give it a try, and if it doesn't work, then it doesn't work, you know? It's only 75 bucks, 70 bucks, you know? Much better to find out that I don't like this style of sharpening, and I'd rather go to like a, a set thing, like a, you know, like a Wicked Edge or Latsky or whatever. Uh, I don't remember if Latsky is, is fixed or not, but, but you know, a fixed sharpening system, but this is a little freehand one where you kind of just drag it along the sides of the 
the uh, the, the sharpening stones, and, and so we'll try it out. You know, I just wanted wanted to, wanted to wanted to try out something, try out sharpening. So we got those two things. Um, next thing on the list here, I'm actually pretty darn excited about this one. Um, I sold my uh, pterodactyl, tactical pterodactyl fixed blade a long time ago. This isn't even what I thought it was. Um, I sold my uh, tactical pterodactyl um, fixed blade a long time ago, so I'm trying to re-up re on a little bit. Um, this is uh, a bit driver, uh, brass. I had to stop the packaging because you probably can't hear me over this. A um, little bit driver set. I have so much trash on the table. I apologize. I'm trying to keep it out of frame. Um, cause I don't have like a nice one. I just have a little crappy little Kershaw one and not like this one's so much better, but, uh, that one is, I've already rounded the heads off of one of them. Thank God I bought two. Uh, I was one of them. The plan was to keep one here at home and one in my backpack and the one that I have here at home, uh, I was using and, and it sheared off one of the, one of the bolts. I don't remember what knife it was. I think it was a Benchmade cause they kind of go hard on the Loctite, but, uh, hopefully this is a little bit better, a little bit more kind of of a purchase here on this. Dang, that is heavy. It's got a really good weight to it. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Yeah, so very cool. Very cool indeed. Some, uh, some bits right here. Perfect, perfect. A little magnetic thing in there. Again, obviously there's some knife stuff here, not just knives. Um, so, all right, and we got two Spydercos. Yeah, two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is another one that I was super excited about. Uh, one that I've actually I've always has caught my eye. I, I've never, um, never even held one before, um, but I've always kind of had it in my in my head as something that I've wanted to try out. This is Spidey Chief. That is incredibly thin. Some lock stick right off the bat. That's okay though. All things that get worked in. That is so much thinner than I thought it was gonna be. Whew. Oh man, yeah, yeah, this is gonna need some work for sure. For sure, for sure. It's all right. Kinda has that cool little, dang, that is sleek, for sure. Very cool, wow. Almost, uh, almost drop shutty. Out the box. Very nice. Very, very nice indeed. Super, super excited about that guy. I don't like the lock stick right out of the gate right out of the gate, but especially with a flick, that is you can hear that. Do you hear that? Let's do it again. Oof. It's alright though. You know, lock stick happens. It's something we just gotta work through. God, it almost feels like fake, you know? Like when you when you come up with a picture or an idea of what a knife is supposed to feel like in your hands. Um, and then you get it and it's like, that's so much smaller than, or thinner, you know, this way than I thought it was gonna be. Um, especially with, you can kind of, I always imagine this would be thick because it kind of has this little contoured like edge right here. So I was like, oh, okay, the whole thing must be pretty thick then, but this is a this is a very thin, very lightweight knife. Um, lock stick's already getting a little bit better even with me just messing with it a little bit. Um, probably just something, some extra oil. Let's see, all these have kind of come with a little extra oil here on the top. Not sure why that is, but you know, we'll keep working on that. <laughs> Another Spider Co. Uh, this is per, I don't know if he ever, uh, you know, Nick Shabbat, I don't know if he ever actually um, like really enjoys the knife. I know that he always just uses it for size comparisons. It's been talked about, you know, I hear about, I hear it about occasionally. And of course, every time I watch a Nick Shabbat video, I see one and I was scrolling through, um, their 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 uh, pages on Blade HQ and this one really caught my eye so I had to kind of at least try it out. I know some of you guys are gonna think this is absolutely ugly. This is a Delica Four with pl uh, pink and black FRN scales. Oh, it kind of is like a little bit of a like a, it's a it's assisted. Yeah, all right. Or not assisted. It's like a. That's just the way the lock works, huh? Because it kind of has that, like when a, uh, you know, when you're closing like a slip joint, it does that thing where at the half stop, and then you know it's fully flush again when it's open. That's interesting. Much thinner than I, again, much thinner than I expected. But that color is so cool in person. I saw the pictures and I was like, man, that is a pretty hot looking knife. 
I'm not a pink guy or anything like that, but I just kind of saw that and I was like, that's pretty cool. The only thing I'm not sure about, which is why I wanted to try it before, uh, you can still spotty flick, heck yeah, is the lock back, you know, cause I'm used to compression locks where you open it up and you can keep your fingers out of the way and do that. But this is kind of an odd thing, but that, I mean, that kind of helps you right there. You kind of just set it right there and then you can close it the rest of the way. Wow. Gotta get used to that difference there. That's a pretty, actually decent sized knife. I guess I should know the size of the knife. He's used it for comparison so much, but that's like almost as big as a Spidey Chief right there. I mean, just a, just a, I don't know, maybe a quarter inch shorter than the Spidey Chief. Um, all right, we're on to our last, last item here. Um, this is the one that I, I thought was a different one. This is the one that I'm super excited about. Why I was starting to talk about the uh, TPK tactical pterodact the pterodactyl knife. I sold that guy. Actually, I traded it for uh, a Techno Two, um, and I kind of regret it. You know, I never, I didn't carry it a whole bunch um, because it was a little bit too small for me, um, and it was a, kind of a nice knife. And I didn't really like know how to carry it, but I kind of wanted to try again. So SE obviously is the uh, is the thing coming from uh, where it's coming from, and this is. And I decided to grab already looking just a slight uh, slight bit larger than my TBK, which I like. Um, this is the original Azula, yeah, in black. And then, oh yeah, it's got that beautiful coating. Let me get this guy out of the way. Beautiful coating here on the blade. And then that was what this is for here. I bought some uh, my card handles because I really like the look of the two together. I think it looked pretty good. And like I said, I haven't had, I hadn't have a, a fixed blade in the collection for a while since I got rid of that that TPK. So I was like, man, I kind of want to try one again. And that is a uh, is a good. I like that. The handle. Um, I don't know the exact dimensions here, but it almost feels like the handle is is a little bit bigger than the blade, which I like. It fits very well in the hand. And then this guy hopefully is supposed to give it a little bit more. Uh, grip to it um, so yeah for sure anyway I think I'll go ahead and end it here I'd like to make some videos on some of this stuff in here um, kind of just my thoughts because I have some ideas of, of some like I said some things that I kind of want to talk about that I haven't seen much of or maybe I just don't watch the right videos but um, I'm always interested in, in you know in, in talking and, and you know sharing opinions and hearing back from what people have to say if they agree disagree things like that so some of these I hope will be in some video videos later on uh, but I just wanted to, you know, make sure there's nothing else in here. Yeah, that's it. 24 items, I think, total. Um, all from different makers, different places. And and uh, we got some still co cool stuff coming along and, and maybe even a new collection update sometime soon. I'd like to do a whole EDC collection uh, video soon, too. Uh, anyway, appreciate you guys watching and uh, hope you all have a good one. All right, see you later.